Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the reduction of aromatic nitro compounds. <clears throat> so uh, just to give a quick start off, here's the structure of nitrobenzene. Uh, and the nitro group is very frequently represented, represented in its condensed format. Uh, but it's worth just showing for a moment the Uh, non-condensed version and also noting that the nitro group itself has a resonance structure or another resonance contributor. Uh, so the nitro functional group is a nitrogen with two oxygens in it. The negative charge on, uh, there's a negative formal charge shared by the oxygens and the nitrogen has a positive formal charge. Overall, the group's pretty polar uh, and some nitro compounds are on the more polar side of things because of these formal charges. Um, but also because of the resonance and, and the formal charges, nitro groups are usually represented using their, <coughs> using their condensed formulas. The most common reduction of, of a nitro group, and, and this can generally be done uh, on aliphatic, so non-aromatic uh, nitro compounds as well, is reduction to the amine. And the nitro group is actually really easy to reduce. And so the nitro group can be reduced by a lot of different reducing agents. Uh, let's first of all talk about common reducing agents for this reaction. Um, among the most common reducing agent uh, for this reaction is iron metal and higher hydrochloric acid. Um, this combination of iron and hydrochloric acid is a, is a good uh, dental uh, and it tolerates other functional groups. Generally, there are a number of uh, metals and in, in the presence of hydrochloric acid that will do this, including some metal combinations like zinc hydrochloric acid um, that, that will reduce other functional groups as well. <clears throat> in addition, um, catalytic hydrogenation uh, will uh, Catalytic hydrogenation conditions will reduce uh, nitro functional groups to amines. So that's that's tricky then because this these conditions also reduce, reduce other functional groups. And um, lithium aluminum hydride will do this. Uh, but there are also some some other inorganic reducing agents like sodium hydrosulfite or so, I'm sorry sodium hydrogen sulfite and um, sodium hydrosulfite, which is a, 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 or sodium dithionite, which is a weird uh, Na2S2O4. Sodium, well, now make that look like chemical formula, or and sodium uh, thiosulfate S2O3. And there are a number of sulfur-based uh, reducing agents that work here as well. And the nice thing about these sulfur based reducing agents is they're also pretty gentle and they tolerate other functional groups. Uh, and in fact, some of these are on the weaker end of reducing agents available uh, in the world of organic chemistry. So they tend to not react with other functional groups. For example, really importantly, uh, <clears throat> these sulfur reducing agents don't tend to reduce carbonyl compounds. So that means the nitro functional group can be reduced in the presence of a ketone or an ester. All right. In the next video, uh, I'll talk about
some of the redox reactions uh, involving phenol. Thank you for watching.